In an era of increasing geopolitical tensions, particularly in the Asia-Pacific region, the United States US, Department of Defense is preparing to provide military support to the Philippine Navy. One of the strategic steps taken is the provision of unmanned surface vessels, USVs, which are planned to enhance the Philippines' capabilities in facing the challenges of asymmetric warfare. As part of a broader military assistance program, the provision of USVs reflects the US's commitment to strengthening its allies in the region. Through training and technology transfer, the US is not only providing the tools, but also the knowledge and strategies that will help the Philippine Navy respond to the challenges at hand. With information about the Philippine Navy's unmanned surface vessels, USVs, and plans for USVs already out in the open through a report by Naval News, we thought it would be wise to discuss what has been happening in the past year or so behind the scenes. The Philippine Navy has actually begun evaluating several proposals for USVs, mostly from Israel, South Korea, and the US. In fact, the Philippine Navy appears to have an unknown number and type of USVs as reported to us by sources who have seen the USVs themselves, although it remains to be seen whether these are owned by the Philippine Navy or simply with them for evaluation purposes. Unmanned surface vessels, USVs, are a technological innovation that allows for more flexible and efficient maritime operations. USVs can be used for a variety of missions, from reconnaissance, patrol, to surveillance. With this capability, the Philippine Navy is expected to increase the operational endurance of USVs in high-risk areas without risking the lives of service members, providing a strategic advantage in intelligence gathering and surveillance. Among the USVs that the Philippine Navy is said to have evaluated include the MARTAC Bagus T-12, which was seen by several circulating sources a few months ago. While there has been no official decision on the specific model of USV that will be supplied, several potential candidates are from MARTAC, a company known for manufacturing unmanned marine vehicles. Among the models worth noting are the Mantis T-12 and the Devil Ray series, known for their capabilities in conducting maritime reconnaissance, surveillance, and surveillance missions. The Mantis T-12 is one of MARTAC's flagship models designed for reconnaissance and surveillance tasks. With the ability to operate in various weather conditions and carry out long-range missions, this USV is well suited to counter emerging threats in contested waters. Meanwhile, the Devil Ray series offers a larger size and is equipped with a wider range of payload capabilities. This allows the device to carry out more complex missions, from reconnaissance to combat support. The US Department of Defense's move to provide USVs to the Philippine Navy shows serious concern for regional security and the sovereignty of its partner nations. With technology continuing to advance, the use of USVs is expected to become a key component in the Philippines' defense strategy, better addressing the challenges of asymmetric warfare. This cooperation reflects not only the strong military ties between the US and the Philippines, but also a shared vision to ensure stability in the Asia-Pacific region. It is also worth recalling that Turkey previously offered the ULAQ Combat USV to the Philippine Navy, and would have included some if the PN decided to select ASF-80's bid for the PN offshore patrol vessel requirement, which was eventually won by HDHHI. Turkey, through its defense company ASFAT, has offered the ULAQ to the Philippine Navy as part of its fleet modernization. The offer covers various aspects, including technology transfer and after-sales support, which are expected to enhance the Philippines' defense capabilities in an increasingly dynamic region. 
The ULAQ is a rising name in the Turkish defense industry. This unmanned combat vehicle is equipped with the capability to operate in various conditions, as well as having a capable navigation and weapons system. The ULAQ is designed to carry out reconnaissance, surveillance, and strike missions against targets in the waters, making it a promising solution for the Philippine Navy PN. Although the Philippine Navy has chosen not to pursue Turkey's ULAQ offer, this does not imply the end of potential cooperation between the two countries in the defense sector. With the ongoing developments in the political and military arenas in Southeast Asia, collaboration between the Philippines and Turkey remains an interesting topic to watch in the future. The opportunity to strengthen maritime defense in the region will continue to be a priority, and the strategic steps taken will determine the direction of future relations between the two countries. With the SRDP law now in effect, Max Defense Philippines also received feedback from some sources in the defense industry that a number of local companies are interested to develop their own USVs. It would be remembered that the PCG's own USV was made locally by a company based in Zambales. We'll be hearing more about the PN's USV plans in the coming months, as evaluation of potential platforms appears to still be ongoing.